June 27, one mile from the Vostok, closing in. 90% of history is being in the right place at the right time. In Vancouver in 1971, we have the biggest concentration of tree huggers, draft dodgers, radical students, and back to the landers on the planet. And we are all haunted by the specter of a dead world. Bob just realized that if you want to do a protest, you have to make a story that would impact millions of people in every corner of the world. We have to get between the whales and the harpooner. That's the image we have to get. George Kroff and Bob Hunter are in the Zodiac in front of the chase boat bow, and the film crew Zodiacs are on each side. That was the moment that launched the modern environmental movement. Well, now, deep in my heart, baby, I know that you can. It wasn't really a lot of people, but boy, did we do a lot of things. What Bob said we could do, we did. Now we're looking at his own, oh boy, <laughs> this is something. Suddenly, we became celebrities. Groovy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Battle lines are drawn again between conservationists and Canadian government officials. It got bigger and bigger, and the bigger it got, the harder it was to keep cohesion together. The weakest link was always going to be ourselves. The threat of our own egos getting in the way of what we were trying to do. The greater our influence, the messier and more obstinately human things become. Can I start again? I got sure. Is there a point simply in life where everything you believe turns inside out? Yeah.